Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to make a quick video here. I made a stand at work today for my Gerard Triway trimmer. Um, most people are using what looks like a power drill and a vise, and or they're just taking their bench grinder and attaching it straight to their uh, work surface. Uh, I wanted to keep mine vertical just so all the brass shavings fall straight down into the trimmer like they're supposed to instead of falling back down in the cases and just making my life miserable. So what I've got is a two and a half by two and a half square tube with a quarter inch wall. And I've got that at 18 inches tall. Going down to a quarter inch by quarter inch or quarter inch plate rather. So we've got eight inches across and roughly 10 inches in length. I've got two holes drilled back here. I think I did 3 eighths on this side and 5 sixteenths on this side with a quarter inch bolt all the way through. And this is the Harbor Freight Special Central Machinery 6-inch grinder. It's 3450 RPM with a half inch arbor which is perfect. Uh, Gerard states don't go above 3500 because your tool could fly apart. On this side I cut the arbor off because when I'm using this I'm probably going to have my foot on top of it and as unlikely as it sounds you know I don't want a shoelace or anything to get caught up in there. So I cut that end off just uh, for peace of mind. And I cut the threads off of this side to make this more compact. And this, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a half inch to three eighth coupler. That's uh, pretty cheap on Amazon. I think it was less than $20. Uh, so the half inch arbor goes on this side, three eighths out this side for the triway. It's a very, very awesome tool if you don't know what they are. Uh, basically it trims, chamfers, and deburrs your cases all at once. It's a rotary tool so you're going to need something like this or a drill that goes pretty quickly. Um, so the way it works, there's a carbide bit in there that uh, you know, if you look down inside of here, I don't know how good of a view you're going to get, but you can see it's shaped roughly like your cartridge and what it does it indexes off of the shoulder so all you have to do is push it in give it a quick twist pull it out and you are done trimming chamfering and deburring which is a huge improvement over my old setup which is right over there it's the uh, Lyman Universal it works great but it's kind of slow so I'll go ahead and turn this on and it's actually pretty darn quiet, which is fantastic. I've got two dogs upstairs and they will bark at literally anything. So I've got a case here. This is 308 Winchester. It's been sized and cleaned. But as you can see from the end, or the case mouth, it has not been trimmed, chamfered, or deburred. So go ahead and focus this up. It's a little bit of noise. No problem, pull it out, and we have a trimmed, chamfered, and deburred case. Awesome. In the manual, they recommend that once it's finished trimming, you give it that quick twist, and that's just in case you've got it in there kind of, I don't know, kind of off center, off kilter a little bit and it, uh, God, that's pretty. And it makes the chamfering uneven, giving it that quick twist. We'll straighten it right back out. Well, that was already a short one, wasn't it? But highly recommend this tool. Save you a lot of trouble save your fingers and your wrists from using that the manual chamfer deburr tool
excellent very repeatable process uh, these are like a hundred dollars uh, you can get them from you have to actually call into the company but if you google Gerald Triway G-I-R-A-U-D Triway I'll actually slow this down for you so you can see here that was upside down but it's got Triway yeah GerardTool.com and uh, get you the get the phone number give them a call order over the phone I believe they're like a hundred dollars and you can only do one caliber with these so keep that in mind every caliber you want to do you're looking at about a hundred dollars there is a powered option that's like four hundred dollars um, but in, in this setup, I've got the trimmer, 15 minutes worth of work. The grinder was all right, $50, a couple of $20. It works great for the money. I mean, it saves so much time. It's totally worth it. Highly recommend it. So I hope somebody found this helpful. If you've got a little bit of scrap steel laying around at work or you know somebody who does metal work I guess works great thanks for watching